What's up, guys? Just wanted to show you guys the uh, Drape King setup, you know, because I talk a lot about the Drape King, Drape, yeah, the DrapeKing.com setup, which is basically just the two uprights. Everything is pipe, pipe and drape 2.0. I know a lot of people don't know what that is, but I found out through them and searching through YouTube about like the uh, the good points of the 2.0. Um, check it out. Okay, this is the bag. Now they don't sell this bag. I got this off. Uh, I believe it was E Online. I tried to. I put the link somewhere. Uh, basically, it's a base plate bag. It holds up to four, but four is pretty heavy. Um, I actually keep my stand to my uh, my kiosk inside. Here's my first base plate. 17 and a half pounds. It's I believe 18 by 18 inches. Now I did buy a base plate cover for it. So it's basically just kind of like kind of like a sock just so that you won't see the silver plate. And it has a pocket here on the side. You can see. This is basically the pin. So I can take open this up. Takes a minute. Throw it right in the hole. Once I throw it right in the hole, fit it right in. And you do not need a screwdriver because once you actually twist it in, you actually hold the screw, screw this side. Once it's in, tight it's not going anywhere you're good to go so that is your base plate as you can see what it looks like that's your base plate so it's here it's pretty solid and that's with the pipe and sock or the base plate sock now I'm going to show you the other bag that I use uh, the other bag is my is where I where I carry my upright it's an ultimate lighting pole bag okay it's an ultimate lighting pole bag and the reason why I say lighting pole is that it holds lighting stands ultimate lighting stands which happen to be a little I guess you could say a little longer than the average speaker stand the, the stands are usually about 55 inches or 56 inches or something so the bag itself is 60 inches which is the exact same length as the uh, the uprights okay so check this out so you see this is the ultimate bag so when I open it I have my stand to my kiosk my iPad kiosk and then I actually have my uprights I have the pipe socks already on the upright. I don't have to take them on and off. Okay, so I have one upright. I have, sorry about that, it's just a clamp. Uh, this is my second upright. Now you're probably wondering what this clamp is. This is so that I can put for a uh, light for a hair light, you know, just to give, because I use an iPad booth, so you, I need a lot more light. Um, and then, the remaining part, which is the crossbar. Now the crossbar, if you notice, this is pipe and drape 2.0. Now you see it almost looks like a, almost looks like a little, a little pin. That's the reason why I'm here. See, I can actually show you. So here, see how you notice it has a little groove. So when you connect, when you're connecting the crossbar, all it does is drop right in, and it's connected. There's no screwing, there's no clip, there's no nothing. And with this, you have full range of motion. Not like with the see it used to be, where it used to put the actual clip inside. It was like a, almost like a hook. 
The only thing is that the hooks bend. That's the problem. The pipe 2.0 does not bend. So it goes right in and that's it. You're ready to go. And it's also level. This is just each one of these pole, each one of these 2.0 mounts comes with a quarter inch 20 tripod mount on top. So you can connect something onto here. You can put other, they have other clips and clamps and everything that you can put on here to put in two and three and four. And you can do a whole bunch of uh, other things with the Pipe and Drape 2.0 and you're good to go. So it takes about a minute and a half to set up because once you're done, remember we already put the pipe, we already put the, uh, the, blaze, the base plate together. All you do is slide it in. And once you slide it in, you're good to go. So if you notice, that's the pole. All the way down to the, to the base plate. And it's in. Then you adjust it. It has right on the sides, has these two little clamps. All you do is lift it up and it drops. So basically when you pull it, when you pull it up and down, it goes up and it stays. You don't have to do anything. There's no twisting. There's no locking. It locks on its own. It does not move at all. So if I want to drop it once again, I just see these little clamps. All I do is lift these clamps up and watch it drop. That's it. One, two, three. Or if you're holding it, obviously it'll go down lower, but I'm holding the camera at the same time. So uh, that's the uh, Pipe and Drape 2.0.